The situation in the Middle East as we speak could hardly be more fraught. The timing could not be worse for the Senate to send the wrong signal. In just the last several hours, we've seen reports that a missile from inside Yemen struck a utility plant in Saudi Arabia. This, after other attacks, almost certainly from the Iran-backed Houthi forces on Saudi Arabia and the UAE, including attacks on civilian vessels and on a civilian airport. So again, Mr. President, just last night, Iran shot down a U.S. intelligence aircraft that was flying in international airspace. So the Senate could hardly pick a worse time, a worse time for clumsy and ill-considered resolutions that would hurt key relationships in the Middle East. Let's not cut ourselves off from our partners. Let's not undercut the administration at a time of such delicate diplomacy and tension with Iran. So I would ask my colleagues to vote down these resolutions. Madam President, over the past few months, tensions with Iran have escalated. There have been a series of attacks on tankers in the Gulf region, and this morning it was reported that Iran has shot down a U.S. drone. These events are deeply concerning, all the more so because the Trump administration has not explained to Congress or to the American people how it views these events how it plans to respond, and most importantly, what is the broader strategy for confronting Iran? And the president, as he seems to, just gets a bug in his head, something he said in the campaign without thinking, and then upends foreign policy. Another example of chaos in this administration. But he's done that. He's done that. And so now the issue is, what is our strategy to deal with the consequences? The American people have to know this. We have seen too many conflicts in the Middle East escalate into war, escalate into a 10-year war. The American people are not for spending fortune and, more importantly, lives of Americans overseas. They want us to focus here at home. But the kind of adventurism, almost unplanned, unthought out, and certainly unexplained adventurism of the president is the wrong way to go and could lead to severe consequences. And I must say, even in closed-door briefings with senators, the administration doesn't have a strategy.